All right guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be testing out a material that is found in quite a bit of modern body armor, and uh, that's ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Uh, this material is found in soft body armor and uh, rigid hard body armor, and it's uh, utilized because it's a tough material and it's lightweight, it's resistant to uh, weathering, well, maybe not UV weathering, but it is resistant to water absorption which is a big drawback with Kevlar. Um, so what we did is we got the raw material. We got raw ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and we're gonna just go ahead and just fold this material up, you know, so many times. We're gonna take it out to the range. We're gonna hit it with mostly pistol rounds. Um, I wanna see how light and how few layers of material we could get by with uh, just to see how resilient it is. Now this in no means is something that I feel somebody should go out and do but what I'm gonna do again is just take the raw material fold it up take it out there and see what we can stop. So this will be kind of a series we were just at the range testing out the fiberglass again only about a half inch thick, right around three pounds, I believe, and um, held up amazing. I mean, this 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 is you know a good viable option. But we're gonna go ahead and take this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this modern material, this ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. We're gonna go out, like I said, fold it. We're gonna do uh, 12 layers and 24 layers. We're gonna shoot it against mostly pistol rounds and we're gonna see how it does. All right, let's get out to the range. We got some ballistics grade, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene up there. This is only 12 layers. This is basically to show you, yes, it may stop certain rounds, but there is quite a bit of force that uh, follows through that. 12 layers theoretically should not stop nine millimeter we, it should take about 14 or so. We're testing this out. We got uh, CZ Shadow 2. We're shooting a 124 grain full metal jacket. So let's see what we could do. Okay, so just as we thought, a little bit of it went through. I know it's very hard to see. It is in there, did not go through the back. But that is the energy transfer we're talking about. We will go ahead and measure the back de face deformation. With our little gauge here, we're gonna zero this out. We will put this on here and I will get it as close as I can. As you can see, 2840, 28 millimeters right to there. All right, now let's move on to 24 layers. Okay, same pistol, same 124 full metal jacket. Only difference is we have 24 layers of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. This stuff, we just folded it, put some tape around it, and we're going at it. So let's see how twice as many layers changes the back face deformation. Let me turn on the slow motion and Clear. Okay, so safe to say 24 layers, I have a feeling stopped the nine millimeter if 12 layers did. And it did, obviously. So 
Let's go back to our gauge and see. We'll zero that out. How much the deformation changed. Okay, so now we have 18.5 millimeters. So that right there is what's going to get you. Definitely not as bad as 12 layers, but, but pretty darn big. We're going to go ahead, hit this with a 44, see if it can stop 44 millimeters. All right, we're doing 44 Magnum, 240 grain, jacket it's off point. 26, no, 24 layers of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Just folded, taped together. Let's see what we get. Miss to the left. Let us try that one more time. It looks like it stopped it. Holy crap. All right, so it stopped it. And you can probably hear it in there. That though, is what we're worried about. Let's see what uh, 24 layers. This one's nice. I can see all the way to the back in this one. Well, 48 millimeters straight back. Almost 49. Ouch. Okay, so I had a crazy idea. I went ahead and put the 12 layers and the 24 layers, stacked them together. Decided, you know what? Let's see if it'll stop a bigger bullet, maybe not moving as fast as a 5.56, but these are just folded, you know, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Let's go ahead, see what it ends up doing. Oh yeah, that went through. Okay, so for those that wanna know what a little rifle will do to two layers, it just goes straight through this, straight through this and out the back. <laughs> Did not slow it down too much. However, stop the 44. Interesting. All right. All right, we're back from the range. And I gotta say, that's some impressive stuff. We have the 12 layers right here of the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. This thing is thin. I mean, we're talking 12 layers. Stop the nine millimeter easily. As you can see, this right here we went ahead and stacked the two layers of 12 and 24 and shot the 7.62 by 39. It did not stop it, went through both. But this is impressive. And then again, 24 layers. Went ahead, shot nine millimeters, stopped that easily. And then the 44 mag. We went ahead and shot the 44 mag, 240 grain, and it stopped it. Now granted, I do want to point out, I believe NIJ standards are 
44 millimeters for back face deformation and I could be wrong. I'm not sure about that. We were past that. Uh, it was warm out there. Of course, it's just for entertainment and take it for what it is. The clay was probably not heated to the correct temperature that it needed to. But even at that, the back face deformation was 48 millimeters. I can't remember, but it was more than 45. I know that. So, um, so yes, it did stop it, but it, uh, it really put a hurting on. Now that brings up the next thing. We're going to go ahead and test that against 30 layers, but this is something that we pressed and heated. So it's much harder and rigid, but for right now, this is just a reference. The next video we're going to do, I've got one ahead and already put together some, some Kevlar. We have some soft and hard body armor that I'm going to do with Kevlar in the next video. So again, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and we'll keep on going with all this material.